Heart Protocol Hidden One returns. Finally. You found the path back. What do you have for us? The one we are looking for is a Demiune. Someone out of Baghdad. You are certain? I found proof. They were working with the tax collector and the harbor master. One used the guards to harass and extort coin from the Demiune. The other seized goods at the docks. Extortion, I understand. But seizing goods? More objects from these ancient beings they worship? They are looking for a rare hairpin imported from the East Road. It will be up for auction at the Da'irat al-Mal. An official invitation into the auction. Now, we have a way in. Well done. Our target has to be someone connected to both Al-Anga and Al-Kululu. Someone working closely with the officials. Informers heard whispers of the Khalifa's treasurer. In recent times, they have been quite involved in the businesses of Kah. Someone like that will no doubt make an appearance at the Da'irat al-Mal. We should prepare, so I will scout ahead. Meet me near the souk when you're ready. Not a lot is known about this person. Underestimating your opponent is a fool's folly. Worried? I will tread carefully. The plan is simple. Enter the auction as a merchant wishing to bid on exotic artifacts. We know they want the hairpin. And we know they will be at the auction. They already let it slip through their fingers once. When the hairpin appears, I will watch the crowd and make sure to obtain it. That will secure a meeting with this treasurer. I am fully confident they will bid on it, whatever the cost. Yes. I will gather as much information as I can about this treasurer before the auction starts. For someone in their position, there will be no lack of whispers. The first feather without a head. It is your duty to find the right one. Do not let yourself get distracted. Focus on the mission at hand. It does no one good to linger on things that do not exist. This is real. I understand. Silence is better for the wise. And how much more so for fools. Havan Muvaffaman. Do you think we need luck? There is a rot in Karch, treasurer. Property stolen. Merchants extorted. Foreigners tormented. Corruption is rank and everywhere. But you are at its heart. Even now, your poison spreads along the East Road to lands untouched by the Order's venom. I hear you hunger for a hairpin. One up for auction at the Da'irat al-Mal. I will play the rival for your heart's desire and draw you from the shadows. Assalamu alaikum. Yasas. Ni hao. Hello. It is the time of year again to fulfill your deepest yearning. 
to listen to your heart's desire and purchase what God has shown us. It brings me great joy to welcome all of you esteemed individuals to our annual Dairat Al-Mal. First on our exclusive, captivating list of exotic odds and ends, we have a stunning statue from India. Made of ivory and crafted by the finest artisans, it will be a perfect addition to any home. Oh, hmm. what do we have? One bidder already. No, two. Calling once, twice, a third. Would anyone like to best that price? No? So, this piece goes to the lovely lady. Next, we have a one-of-a-kind ethereal beauty. This hairpin hails from the east. And look at the detail on the dragon. Perfect as a collectible, and even better as a gift for a certain lady friend you might have. So, so what is this piece worth to you, Ya Azdekhai? One, for the treasurer who graced us with her presence. Ning, the treasurer. Two. Any others? Hmm. We have a hmm. third there. Oh, two owns it again. Number three, what will you do? How much do you want this, my friends? Reach into your heart, listen to your desire. Hmm. No one? Then sold to the handsome bearded man. This hairpin belongs to you now, Saidi. Now, for the third item. And we thank you once again for making the Dairatul Mal a success. May your purses be ever full and your heart ever longing. Did you see her? Her calmness, her grace, like a long shining star against a dark night. If only I could speak to her. Not a chance. I hear only members of the Merchant Guild can arrange an audience in her chambers. Well, maybe if I find out where she purchased her robe or her beautiful fan. I have an appointment with the treasurer. Move aside. Apologies. My instructions were clear. No brooch, no entry. Do you know who I am? I need to speak to the treasurer. I was called. Summon. Assalamu alaikum. I'm here to see the treasurer. On what business? I have a gift for the treasurer, if she will see me. Only members of the ivory coin are allowed to enter. No brooch, no entry. No brooch, no entry. You know how this works. Yes, but I left my brooch in there. You do not see the problem here. No brooch, no entry. An exclusive union for the merchants of high society. I should have expected this to exist.
the Chamber of Antiquities is the treasurer's haven. I need to find a way in. Vigilance is its own reward. What's happening? What? This must be the ivory coin's brooch. Shiny. I have both trinkets. The guard will have to let me in now. Assalamu alaikum. You again. What is it now? I have something that she wants. A Chinese hairpin from the auction. I also have my brooch with me here. Very well. You may it. This way, Sayyidi. I have been looking forward to meeting the treasurer. It is an honor. Indeed, Sayyidi. She is busy, and her time only allows for a few rare appearances. I have never seen so many treasures in one place. Too high. One has to be careful not to get bitten in there. Please refrain from speaking about the treasurer inappropriately. You may enter. You are a new face. My name is Basim. New to Baghdad, but not to trade. I deal mostly in fine antiques and collectibles. You must have a good eye for detail, then. What have you brought me, Basim? You know what I brought. A man not to be toyed with. Come, show it to me. Is it? Ever seen something like this? So perfect. So delicate. No. But I am surprised that you have not. I do have a pension for them. When I was but a child, my sisters and I would tie our hair with sticks, adorn them with stone. I pretended they were the rarest gems. We had nothing, but we felt that we had it all. There are many reasons why people see me. For advice, a taste of power, and most often, to win favor. Why have you come, Basim? As a fellow collector, I have heard much about you from others. Your extravagance, your taste. 
I wish to learn. Did they say I was lucky? I loathe the word. When I first arrived in Baghdad, I was one of many seeking my fortune. Now, I have even the East wrapped around my fingers. I clawed my way here where many gave up, preferring to spare their nails. But me? I don't mind a few scratches, a bit of blood. Surely there have been connections. The people you met that helped you get to where you are. No matter what others say, you only have yourself. No one else. Everything prospers when family is harmonious. Family? The word has no meaning. The notions, even more so. Only the self hears the deepest whispers of your soul and accepts you whole. No one lives alone. But we die lonely. In the end, we are absolutely, simply, truly alone. Turn to the bureau. The treasurer! She's dead! The guards! Help! Someone kill the treasurer! Ha! Come back and die with honor! Got you! Get back here! Let me fall on you! You die now!
Basim, how did you fare? The streets are alive with talk about the auction. Rumors spread quickly. It was this woman, Ning. A woman holding the reins. She must have angered many. Angered and enthralled, in equal parts. It is no wonder she kept her identity hushed. Now the upper echelons of affluent louts are soiling their silk robes, wondering if they are next. The Order will not stop here. If they have reached the East, then there is no telling how far they will spread. Did you see it? The Jenny? It... Uh, it is gone now. It is gone. Rest while you can. Our work is not done yet. <laughs>